Hey everyone, welcome back to Milton Black Graphics. If you're into engineering, drawing, and graphics, you've probably heard of CAD, Computer Aided Design. But what exactly is CAD, and why is it so important? And more importantly, which CAD software should you use? In today's video, we'll dive into the world of CAD, explore its applications, and give you an overview of some popular CAD tools. So let's get started. First things first. What is CAD? Simply put, CAD is software that allows engineers, architects, designers, and artists to create precise 2D drawings or 3D models digitally. Instead of using traditional hand drawing methods, CAD lets you design complex objects with accuracy, speed, and flexibility. It's used in industries ranging from automotive and aerospace to architecture and product design. CAD isn't just about creating pretty pictures, it's also about simulating real-world behavior. For example, you can test how a car part will perform under stress before it's even manufactured. That saves time, money, and resources. Why do professionals prefer CAD over traditional drawing methods? Here are a few reasons. One, accuracy eliminates human error by allowing exact measurements and dimensions. Two, efficiency automates repetitive tasks like scaling, copying, and modifying designs. Three, visualization creates realistic 3D models that can be rotated, zoomed, and viewed from any angle. Four, collaboration enables teams to work together seamlessly no matter where they're located. Five, cost savings reduces material waste and prototyping costs through virtual testing. As you can see, CAD offers countless advantages over traditional methods. Now let's talk about some of the most popular CAD software options available today. To help you decide which CAD software is right for you, consider these factors. One, purpose. Are you designing buildings, machines, or products? Two, skill level. Are you a beginner or an experienced user? Three, budget. Do you need a free option or are you willing to invest in premium software? Fourth, compatibility. Does the software integrate with other tools you use? Five, support and community. Is there good documentation, tutorials, and forums to help you learn? Take your time to research and try out a few options. Many CAD programs offer free trials so you can test them before committing. There are dozens of CAD software options out there, each tailored to different needs and budgets. Let's take a look at some of the top ones. One, AutoCAD industry standard for 2D and 3D design. Great for architectural, mechanical, and civil engineering projects. Steep learning curve, but powerful once mastered. Two, SolidWorks, ideal for mechanical engineering and product design. Known for its robust 3D parametric modeling capabilities. User-friendly interface, though it requires a subscription fee. Three, Fusion 360, cloud-based CAD software developed by Autodesk. Perfect for hobbyists, students, and small businesses due to its free version for startups. Offers advanced simulation and rendering tools. Four, SketchUp, best known for its ease of use in architectural and interior design. Free version available, SketchUp free, with paid upgrades for additional features. Great for beginners who want quick results without much complexity. Five, FreeCAD, a powerful open source CAD software designed for product design and mechanical engineering. Supports parametric modeling, allowing you to modify designs easily. Highly customizable through plugins and extensions. Great for those who want advanced features without paying for them. Sixth Blender, open source software, primarily used for 3D modeling, animation, and rendering. Versatile enough for both professional and personal projects, requires a bit of practice, but has a massive community for support. Seven, Tinkercad, beginner-friendly, web-based CAD tool. Perfect for learning the basics of 3D modeling, often used in schools and for 3D printing projects. 
These are just a few examples of the many CAD software options available. The one you choose depends on your specific needs, budget and skill level. That's it for today's video on CAD software. I hope this gave you a better understanding of what KD is and how it can benefit your projects. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on engineering, drawing and graphics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.